Hello, and thank you for watching the first video in this series. We can't wait to see what you're going to make. Let's talk about the Alibre home screen today. The home screen functions as a hub for all the important things that we do in Alibre, whether it's creating new parts, finding the things that we've created, making new assemblies, and so on. Let's dive in. Now here in the home screen, you have a lot of cool options. I'll start off by saying first, you can click here and open files you've already been working on or you can create new files. You can create a new part file, and part files represent one single part. This is the most commonly used section of Alibre, as usually you want to sit down and make a part. You can create a new sheet metal file, which is just a part that's meant to unbend into a flat like sheet metal would. You can create an assembly file, which is a bunch of parts that you've already made put together into an assembly. You have a bill of materials, which is a list of parts in an assembly. And you have the option to make 2D drawings. And these 2D drawings encompass tolerances of the part and other important manufacturing information. You also have global parameters, which is a little bit advanced for what we are talking about today. Uh, so what, what do we have down here? Well, I have a bunch of thumbnails of parts that I've opened recently. So Libre keeps track of what you've opened recently and allows you to open it quite easily from here. All you have to do is click. And it opens right up, and we can edit it or do whatever we'd like. Likewise, I can click on this eye symbol, and this will hide the thumbnails if I don't want the thumbnails to show, or I can even get rid of the recent files completely. These features are useful if I have a non-disclosure or in some other way don't want to share any intellectual property. But I always like to show my files and see my beautiful work. Next, I can go to Explore. And under Explore, I have the option to uh, access the Libre help file. And I can search by any topic I'd like and see the help documentation. Similarly to the help link, I can have keyboard shortcuts, tutorials. I can see an exercise manual. I can have video training if I'd like to watch videos. Hey, that's what you're doing right now. And I can download sample parts. I also have a knowledge base I can refer to. Likewise, I can connect to other Alibre users. I can suggest a new feature for Alibre. And if I've made something really cool that I'd like to show off, I can put it in the customer gallery. Likewise, you also can see what other people have made. If you're interested in development, there's also some API help. Under Utilities, a lot of this is not really relevant to what we want to talk about. But we have system options, which can be accessed uh, through other places in Alibre as well. You have a material library, so if you have a very specific steel or plastic or something that you'd like to have, you can certainly make it in the material library, and it will be able to make your models reflect what material that you're working with. You also have the About file if you'd like more information about the Libra install or version history. You also can release your license, check for updates, and change update options. And I'd say uh, for Toolbox, you have the ability to create a spreadsheet that can drive certain parts. So if you want to have a library of bolts or washers or lumber sizes or any kind of standardized part, you can certainly create a spreadsheet and then have a whole library of parts based off of that spreadsheet. Thank you again for watching. That should do it for the home screen. In the next video, let's go through what the part modeling environment looks like. I'll see you there.